in this tutorial we will learn how to create a scatter chart and how to interpret a scatter chart so i would say a scatter plot can show various kinds of correlations between variables with a certain confidence interval or in layman language we can say that we use a scatter plot to view relationship between two values so let's understand all this with the help of one small example so on this sheet i have data in two columns first column is bonus or incentive data second column is products sold so i can say that these are two variables first column is independent variable that is x second column has data or i would say dependent variable that is y in chart we will have two axes axis x and axis y so as a first step i will select this data then here i will click on insert and we can see that we have different kinds of charts out of these here we have one icon that says insert scatter chart i am using excel 2013 so we get this option here once i click on a small drop down then we can see there are different kinds of scatter charts available so out of these i will select first one and we can see that a chart is created so what is this chart this chart has two dimensions one is x second is y so let me draw a line to understand better which one is x axis and which one is y so this axis is axis x and let me draw one more line this axis is y so we have two axis on this chart if i click on any small dot or if i take my pointer of mouse to one point we can see this represents combination of x and y variable for first value set so we can see it is product sold and bonus values are 1500 and 110 so these two values are here second point will represent combination of 2000 and 290 so if we check here then we can see second point represents 2000 and 200 and 90 so all these points represent the relation of each two points for two variables now this is a chart we can easily create now if i want to add a trend line in this so what we can do for that if i select this chart and then we can see two tabs design and format now if i click on design then on left hand side we have add chart element if i click here then we can see trend line option is there by using this option we can add any of the given trend line so i will select linear and we can see that one trend line is added into this chart so this trend line is right now with dotted line if i select this and then i go to design and format then by clicking on format we have option 
to choose any of the line so let me select this one and we can see that a scatter plot is ready with trend line so this is how by following simple steps we can create a normal scatter plot so here we can see upward trend of sale with respect to bonus or incentive as bonus is increasing we can see that sale of products is also increasing now if we want to format this chart let's say on y axis if i select then right click and format axis then we can change starting value from 0 to 100 so here i will make it 100 then i close this we can see now that is it is starting from 100 same we can do with x axis i will click here to select it then right click format axis and here i would like to start with 1000 let me close this so now chart looks better if i want to format any other part of chart we can do that let's see uh, if i want to increase size of these dots i will select any of them then it will select entire range or i would say all the dots then right click and format data series then on right hand side we have series options where if i click on first option that is fill and line here we can see the option for line as well as for marker so these dots are marker if i click on marker i can increase the width that is 0.75 let me make it 1.5 and close it now we can see size is increased for these dots so we can do formatting as per requirement however a scatter plot we can always create to see the trending of data thanks for watching this tutorial if you like it please subscribe to my channel for more stats charts thanks